So hello and welcome to all of you all over the world. It is of course a fixture that needs no introduction. It is without doubt the ultimate game the continent has to give us, the final of Euro 2020. This competition has been one of change, one of many firsts, a new qualifying format, venues across the continent, no single host country, and I'm sure the debates about the success or otherwise of it will start as soon as the whistle has gone. Perhaps those debates already have, but one thing has never changed, and that is the fact that football keeps bringing us back for the very same reasons. These championships have again served the game well as a showcase for the best that it has to offer, perhaps helped in no small part by those changes which we have been witnessing. So let us hope it gets a fitting final. Well, it is a great view inside Wembley. It gives it that special feeling no matter which match it is hosting. So here is how they line up, and nothing could top this moment for either set of players. It is without doubt, Peter, the greatest show we have this summer, and the fact... Shut up! Well, it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. And here's Immobile. Shapes to shoot. A oh, great save, real class. Well, what can I say? Truly wonderful goalkeeper. Great leap! That's a half decent try. That's a little unfortunate. He had a lot of people worried then. Mario Rui. Mario Rui goes looking. And it's Xiao Moutinho. That's offside. Yes, it is. Keeper sends it forward. Bernadeschi! There was plenty of power on that. And that's exactly the type of adventure we want to see in the final two, Peter. And it's a pity it didn't cause the net to budge. Cristiano Ronaldo. Quick glance at goal. Oh, well played, he needed to get that right. Florenzi. Forward it goes. He came in hard, very hard. Strong challenge, but well within the laws. What a ball that has a hit! Goal! Portugal! Could that be the start of something big? Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front and they really commit forward in numbers too. That was all very well drilled. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. Well, certainly the big occasion and a very big opening goal to boost everyone's confidence here. A heavy challenge. He's left his man. Berdeski. Can he deliver? Florenzi. Lorenzi passes it square. Well, when the options aren't quite present in the box, it's the crosser's interest to uh, to hold on for the support. He's put a stop to that. And 
the defence can get it clear. Berateski. And through to the goalkeeper. Well, there's the whistle. The first half of the final has flown by. And here we are. Off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. Well, here we go, then. A solitary goal. That has been the crucial difference. Jose Font. Bruno Fernandes. Ricardo Pereira. And here's Cristiano Ronaldo. Tries his luck. Big relief. It just needed better contact. Ball needed to be better there, it's a wasted chance. Bruno Fernandes. Bernardo Silva. And it's the goalkeepers to claim. Florenzi. Well, there's a lot of movement out wide now. Yeah, you can certainly see that. Well, I think it's a move to open the game up more, whether out wide or just getting a runner through the middle now. He gets past his man. Keeper has beaten it away. Font sticks in a foot to win it back. And he's looking at the referee, but the referee is shaking his head. Ruben Neves. Bernardo Silva has created one goal already. Your impression so far, Jim? Well, while the temptation, Bruno Fernandes gets through on his own. He's gone for it! It's in! And there's the goal they've been looking for. Portugal are so well practiced in the art of keeping the ball through, wonderful passing and movement, and a real appetite to ensure it's reflected in their goal count. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Italy have turned to their bench and we're going to have a substitution. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Portugal have a couple of goals without reply. It's 2-0. We're looking at a very different game now. The command has been established. Bernardo Silva, he could be in here. That intervention was very necessary. Steered forward, Font cuts it out. Bruno Fernandes. Ronaldo is being picked on here. Yeah, and getting on the score sheet has clearly made him a marked man now. Gets wrestled off the ball. Jorginho plays it forward. Bruno Fernandes. Has a look and has a go. <laughs> it's Bernardo Silva. And it's been intercepted and that will come to nothing. Room for it. Has a pop! They are rampant! And they are pulling clear here. That was easy, almost too easy. Well, I think the keeper has every reason to rip into that defence for allowing him to get into such a good position. Yeah, he's run himself into the ground, hasn't he? And it's, it's good to see that the crowd appreciate his efforts because he has put in a real honest shift. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Bonucci. 
And here's Immobile. He's off on a marauding run. It's Jorginho! Surely. And the referee brings it to a close. Portugal celebrate. They are the continent's ultimate team, winners of the European Championship. What a moment this is for all connected with the team. It's a day for pride, a day for glory. Another grand chapter to be added to their glittering history.